Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. We got a good one for you today. Uh, Rhiannon Dixon versus Terry Harper uh, on the DAZN card, the Matchroom card, the Eddie Hearn card. Pretty interesting fight. Uh, WBO lightweight title on the line, I believe. Interesting fight. Before we get to that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. The, the, the Patreon gets you access to the Lock of the Week. It gets you uh, access to Ask the Bookie Anything. It gets you access to the updated props. Like There's no props on this yet, but there's plenty of money to be made on the props, so we'll get you made, money made on the props as well. Additionally, we'll make money on the props. Also, um, you can uh, request a video. All the gambling advice is literally the best gambling advice in the boxing world. I've hit eight. Uh, I've hit nine of my last ten locks. Nine of my last ten parlays. It's, it's all on the Patreon. You can follow the videos. You can get you can get the you get all that information uh, for just five dollars a month. So join the Patreon. Also subscribe to the channel Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Let's get into today's show. All right, y'all. Rhiannon Dixon, strong as an ox, fundamentally fundamentally sound, good timing, good pop in, in, in the left hand, southpaw. A straight left is nice. He's accurate with the counter punches. He's in essence a counter punch. And both these fighters prefer to counter, which is going to make for not a great fight in the ring, I believe. Uh, she's a really good counter puncher. She's accurate and sharp with the counter shots. Circles the ring. She's not easy to she's not easy to hit. She's not easy to time. You know, as I said, great fighters don't get hit a lot. She does not get hit a lot. Maintains distance really well. She creates the distance. She's able to with her jab and with her movements, she's able to create the range that she wants. She gets in and out. Great feet, terrific feet. Gets out of the way pretty well. Can make you miss. Can get back in range. Patient jab. Good head movement. She's just not. And that's going to be the, the difference in this fight. One of these fighters is easy to hit. The other is difficult to hit. Uh, gets in and out very well, like I said. She's constantly moving, constantly moving. She uh, creates that range and can maintain that range. Selective, accurate counter puncher. She, she saw up with it. She's fundamentally sound. She was taught to fight really, really well. Good feet. Whoever coached her up, you know, from an amateur to now, it did, a, did an excellent job. She might have gas tank issues, and she gets a little sloppy and pushes her shots late in fights while she fatigues. Something to keep an eye on. Uh, but, you know, excellent feet, good body puncher. She goes to the body well. She's all, all an excellent fighter, and she should be a prohibitive favorite in this fight. Terry Harper. I don't see anything special. I'm not a huge Terry Harper fan. The Brockus fight kind of confirmed that. Sandy Ryan kind of confirmed that. You know, I know a lot of people liked her on the way up. I just don't see anything special with her at all. She's a basic fighter. She fights behind a high guard, throws the one-two. Her head is on the line. She's not a high-volume puncher. She gets hit a lot. She's not difficult to find. She lunges in. She's sloppy. Her footwork is a mess at times. She's, She's constantly lunging in. She likes she likes to come forward. She's also a counter puncher, she, but she can be backed up. She likes, but she, you know what I'm saying. She doesn't really stand in and commit. She you, you can get her out of her game plan. You can get her going backwards. She's easy to counter. She's not really sharp like uh, Dixon from the outside. She's not pinpoint shots. Bang bang one two bang. Like you know Dixon will nail you with a left hand. Get out of the way. She'll miss. You know so throw a three piece combination and miss. Or with all of it. She's got a wide base. She has a little bit of bounce to her step. She's a decent athlete. Not a whole lot to like about it. There's just not a whole lot there. I don't really, you know, she's not a puncher. She's not a volume puncher. She's not accurate. She's not a great athlete. I don't think she's a great fighter. I, I think Dixon is really another level, and I think that's ultimately going to be the difference. Uh, there's not a lot to bet on this fight. I do like the fight to go the distance, so when that prop comes out, let's take that prop up. Just looking at the odds, I, I think this is a good uh, a good fight to to build your your parlay around. Let's, let's pull up why and we'll discuss why. Uh, 
Minus 450. This is not a bad bet. Minus 450. Um, I would feel comfortable making a one and a half times bet. $150 bet would make you 33 33. I think this is easy money. I also like the fight to go the distance. Um, they don't have a prop on that. I love Dixon by decision. I think that's a great bet to make. So I would, I would look at Dixon by decision. Uh, Dixon on the money line, the fight to go over, the fight to go the distance, anything in that variety. But uh, as as a base of your parlay, take Dixon. Take Dixon, take Zayas by knockout, and you have a little parlay going. Right? You have a decent little parlay going there. Uh, Dixon and um, Sushu Carrington. And you, you can build the parlay. Sushu Carrington, Zayas, Zay, and Dixon. There's, there's a nice little parlay. It gets you about minus – 300, 275, something like that. It's a nice little three-piece parlay. There's money to be made here. This is something nice to build around. It's not terrible odd. I think you're safe. I think Dixon wins. I think we go the distance. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. But that's it. Just Dixon, Moneyline, and then come over to the Patreon. Join the Patreon follows them on the we'll show you what, what props to bet. You'll make a ton of money on the props. This, this is a fight here. This is a nice fight to bet. It is because it, it, it you can build your parlay around it. Three three fight, four fight parlay. And you can also there's also props that you can make money on. Like I would build my parlay around that and I would take a look at the fight to go the distance. I'd probably bet for the fight to go the distance. Take the over. Something along those lines. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Remember to join the Patreon link. It's in the description. Uh, it's also in that little ticker below. It's $5 a month. It gets you the absolute best gambling advice in the world. It is September 24th, 2024. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.